We'll see how this works being this far up in front of your face. Okay. I just want you guys to know that uh, if you don't make it easy to adopt this VR technology, it's going to die. It's really just going to die. Now, the hardware is there. We've got it there. It's going to be cheap for people to, to adopt. Um, that's good. We want good games. We want good, um, easy to use interfaces by which to load things into realities where people can use them. Um, easy spaces for VR, for, for communities to exist. There needs to be a common base. Now, how do you do that? Open source. Open source is socialism in a way. Uh, it's not socialism. Well, let's say it's something else. It's freeware. It's a common base. It's civilization. And you've got that that common base of support. You've got those those services in place that allow people to come into the space and to use it. Then you will have a base from which to build your building, whatever building you're building. Okay. The open source is really kind of, um, in a way, just kind of guarantees that you're not going to have anybody coming into the space that really has no interest in that space, that um, the commercial, the people that are bent on commercial success also want to figure out how to make things proprietary. And when you've got that kind of thinking going on, how can we make it proprietary? How can we own this? How can we push it as a stock? It makes sense for them if it's if you can if they can exploit it. There are there's a statistic four percent of management is psychopaths, and the way psychopaths work is if you've got something that they want, they'll take it and they'll make it their own. And they'll say, it's theirs. It's not yours anymore. They will make fun of you. They will figure out how to break you psychologically by um, turning people against you. Okay? That's how psychopaths work. And 4% of management is psychopaths. Okay? Um, now, Bill Gates isn't a psychopath. What he is, is he's a guy that from the very get-go of his life, he has been trained to overpower other people. To, to win over anybody, and in any case, whenever he was permitted to come to groups, discussions on panels, um, everybody would have their say about what they thought the future was, and Bill Gates was there to sell them the future because he's a salesman. He's always been a salesman. Now he's pushing AIDS, but that's only there. He's only doing that. He's only pushing the... the, the um, a solution to AIDS, it's more for public relations. It's more just to give back to him um, what he's missing, and that is um, people is is the respect that he had before people started realizing that he was a destructive person. He is. Um, I'm a destructive person at my worst, but. Um, I always push in the direction of open source, in the, in the direction of free, in the direction of basic common services for everybody to support themselves. I'm pushing for um, minimum wage that is a living wage. The current minimum wage is not a living wage in the U.S. I'm pushing for uh, a lot of you know, benefits for people, health care benefits. These are things corporations put against, push against. You know the reason why cor corporations push against this stuff is because they believe in the Ayn Rand sort of idea that the Atlas Shrug, that if uh, people don't uh, worship your corporation, then you might go in to another place. And that's what has happened. All the corporations have gone overseas. They're they're buying up, they're hiring people that will work for nothing for them. And they're, and you think they're building up their lifestyle, but they're just screwing people. Okay. And until the people realize that this is going to continue until they get wise enough to develop a common level of living, uh, common services, uh, socialist type um, 
common playing field for everybody, for the poor and everybody, so that they can all, and, and to get better wages and things like that, they're going to get exploited by these corporations, and then the corporations will leave that state and go to another one. And they lobby our government to, do, to, to push wars in states where they want the material resources so they can exploit the resources of that state, whatever it is that they're, and they've done this for years and we'll continue to do it. And we in America are, what we have here is what we've exploited, the resources we exploited from other places. And so I'm, I'm anti-war, I'm um, pro, um, minimum wage. I'm pro um, common level of services, civilization, you know, civilized, having a common plane, a, a base at which everybody can work, open source. I'm always on that end of things. I'm hardly ever on the side of capitalism because I know when you drive software with capitalism, for instance, your, your next jump is to monopolize. And when you monopolize, you are ruining people. And um, because they have no choice, they are locked in. They're prisoners to you when you monopolize. Greed is not good. Greed is only good whenever you have enough resources and there is things that are going to waste. You need people to come in greedy to take it, out those resources and then go and make use of them. But if they don't make use of them, if there is, if the blood doesn't flow, things die off, okay? So if there is no circulation of the resources, things die off. It's, that's what amputation is. It's when the things, when a leg all of a sudden decides it can, can do without the body, it, uh, no circulation of blood it occurs in the leg, it dies off. That's what happens. And that will happen uh, capitalistically if, um, if um, you have monopolies. We have that problem in the healthcare informatics. It's called medical manager. Microsoft was a little bit involved with it. These commercial, these big guys are going to only going to be involved in stuff that they can push commercially into, uh, into um, onto the stock market. And the stock market to me, is basically an anorexic in a mirror. The corporations, the anorexics, the mirror is the stock market. They look at the mirror to determine how the success of their company is. And if it's not going well, they get another CEO. And the only CEO knows how to do is grow a company. It doesn't know how to start a company. So, and our, our current president is a crook. And nobody will even, uh, even look at him and see his past. He is not somebody who grows companies or, or starts companies. He's a person who grows stuff. And the stuff he grows tends to be crooked. He's casinos. He's done all sorts of bad stuff in the past. People just won't look at it. They just see him as rich, okay? He's just branded himself well. But people fall for branding all the time. That uh, If a company does really poorly, and they fall by the wayside, they come back in a, the form of another brand. Nike hasn't come back in the form of another brand. They've had the same brand for the last, since the 70s. But if it ever gets to the point where somebody just really doesn't like Nike, they may come back with a different brand. That's all. And when, when Trump sells his brand, he's not, he's not creating these new business, these new buildings, he is creating a building that's got, he's not creating a building at all. He's selling his name off as a brand and people are thinking, oh, he made this building, he made that building, he made that. No, he sold his name as a brand to other people. And so people just need to understand how companies work, how capitalism works. It's good. It's good if the, if it has the central at its core, the person who came up with the whole company, but when it loses its soul, which is the person that was at the center of that company, when it loses its soul, it becomes um, something that's soulless and, and evil. And uh, um, Microsoft 
has Bill Gates at the center, has Steve Ballmer, but it doesn't have um, uh, it doesn't have the other guy. I keep forgetting his name. Um, so Ballmer is is. Uh, but the thing is, is I never believed in Microsoft from the beginning. Um, they've always been destructive in my in my eyes. Um, first of all, they never created DOS. They bought it off to someone else. Um, Apple kind of created their own stuff. They did their own stuff. Bill Gates just wanted to own it. You know, Bill Gates wanted to do better. He's he's been bred from the time he was young to be a winner. And that's all he wants to do. And I've never been fooled by his work in AIDS. Not at all. He's just trying to get favoritism. Okay. And, uh, you know, you may say he's a fellow anthropologist, you know, no, he's just trying to get the love back that he had when he started the Microsoft company. And uh, he'll just keep going down that path. You can't build a, a bridge to God, you know, and he doesn't, he's godless. So what, What's the deal? You know, he's he's not ever going to convince people that he's good. Um, but um, the only my intent is to have a level playing field where everybody can enter in and can develop.